Okay, so uh, let's start. So again, thank you for attending today's webinar on UniCloud uh, business values. My name is Ari Krokach. I'm from Unitronic, from the UniCloud team, and I will be your uh, host today. Today, we will cover the following topics. We'll give uh, a short intro introduction for uh, those who are not familiar with UniCloud. We'll discuss uh, real-time data collection and visibility, preventing maintenance, how UniCloud can increase your revenues and save you costs. We'll cover the upcoming webinars, and we will, uh, of course, have a Q&A session at the end. Uh, if you have any question, don't wait for the last uh, for the, the end of the session. You can use and enter your uh, questions over here in the questions tools of uh, of GoToWebinar, and I will do my best to answer them uh, while the session is on. So before we begin, I would like to introduce uh, again UniCloud for those who are unfamiliar uh, with the platform. Uh, UniCloud is an industrial IoT platform that basically enables users to connect their machines to the cloud, uh, collect all their machines' data, and use the machine data to uh, have their operation, uh, run their operation in a more efficient way, save costs, perform preventing maintenance, they can also compare between the performances of uh, different machines and, um, and address new type of customers and much more. Unicode is a code tree and do not require any programming skills and also had an embedded analytic and notification tools. So I'll switch now to the platform, to our public demo. I believe uh, some of you are aware and know this uh, one. Okay, so this is our, our public demo. What you can see over here, you can see what we call an asset uh, asset management view, where we do see on one on one dashboard information regarding all our machines, regardless where they are located geographically. In this case, I can see that uh, my organization have 10 machines, seven of them are connected, three of them are currently in a critical alert mode. I can see the geographical location on the map. I can see that two of them, for example, are due to maintenance because they uh, are over 7,000 uh, working hours. And I also can see, of course, uh, all the information in a simple temp table way, uh, the asset ID, the name, the status. This, for example, has a critical alarm. This one is connected and so on. I can also create a, a special um, a dashboard for maintenance purposes. Okay, so for example, I can compare the water, water flow between all my machines and I can see, for example, that I, currently I have four machines that its temperature is above, for example, 50 degrees. I can also see statistics and analytics information. And as you can see, I can see it in different forms. Uh, I can see it in charts, a, a different type of uh, pie, and I can see what is called um, a trend, a trend uh, chart. So for example, I can zoom in on a specific uh, time frame and uh, hover over here and get information which I want to, to analyze. Having said that, I showed you that I can see information in a asset management mode, but I can also drill down to a specific machine le level. So by just clicking one of those, I'm basically redirecting automatically to another to another um, to another uh, dashboard, uh, and this specific machine has uh, three uh, pumps inside. I can see it's uh, three temperature uh, gauges and other all the other uh, information, including uh, historical uh, telemetry. I can also see the same 
uh, information on the statistical level. Again, we are now on a specific machine level. Going back to the details, I can also log in to the machine using VNC, and I can also uh, perform some operations from the dashboard that you are usually used to do through uh, remote access through a VNC. For example, if I'm performing maintenance because the machine is over 7,000 hours, I need to reset the counters of uh, the working hours. I can click this button and the counter will work on the PLC from the dashboard. Additional component or additional category or tools that you have inside uh, inside the, the platform is the event management. So this is a very robust but yet very easy uh, method to define notifications based on uh, SMS or, or email notification based on different telemetry values, alarms, or I can even schedule a report to be sent to me every morning with the status of the machine. The, re the report can be with the data itself or can be also an image of the dashboard that I want to see. Um, I can also have different type of users. I can have uh, many users in my organization. Each one of those will have different privilege roles, privilege access. One is an admin, one is a dashboard user, one has the option to do remote access, one has an option to manage the, the PLCs in my organization and so on and so on. So basically uh, this is, I'm not going to be too technical now, but this is um, uh, UniCloud. Again, you can see information on an asset management level, but you can also drill down to a machine specific level and uh, define, you can basically define to create unlimited number of uh, dashboards uh, in, your, uh, in your organization. Let's move back to uh, the presentation. So after we after we saw what uh, the capabilities of UniCloud, uh, let's uh, for the more technical people uh, in the team in the crowd over here, let's uh, just show the the diagram over here. So UniCloud is in the middle. It's in the cloud, of course, and can be connected to a Unistream series or to other machines uh, like Visions and for example, uh, if you connect directly to Unistream you don't need anything. If you, for other devices you need, you may need a router, a Unitronix router which is acting as a, as a UniCloud the gateway. Uh, and UniCloud is not restricted only to be used with Unitronix devices, it can be also used to can use can be used with uh, other small devices from under uh, from third party uh, vendors as long as they support the modbus uh, protocol on the other side another customers or client of unicloud is the users these users can be uh, machine builders can be the machine builders customers and as you can see on the screen over here, you can also customize the look and feel and the way it looks on different uh, devices. Okay, so this is how it will look on the desktop. This is how you would like to have it on your uh, mobile. And you may define that you want to have it in a different way on, uh, on a tablet. As uh, this webinar is part of a serious uh, UniCloud webinar, I would like to take the opportunity, opportunity now to pop up a questionnaire on your screen and ask you um, what IIoT topics are you interested in, so we can use this information to plan ahead for our future uh, webinar session, uh, sessions. So I will... Uh, I just launched a questionnaire. So thank you for your feedback. So let's talk about machine data and why collecting data and its visibility is important. I will do so through a demonstration of one of our customers who is in the indoor agricultural sector, which means that they are growing uh, crops inside control, uh, control uh, building or rooms. 
Uh, and again, this customer is growing different crops, uh, indoor, and his uh, or their uh, main objective is to increase their yield per square, square meter and to control their product quality by continuously controlling the crop's growing conditions. To accomplish this, they use UniCloud to collect, analyze, and monitor their data 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. This data is used by their employees throughout the organization, such as shift operators, operators, management, technician, and also by their crop scientists to perform data-driven actions based on real-time data. They found out that data visibility is a key element for running the operation smoothly and in a more efficient way. They can use UniCloud dashboard to automatically analyze and visualize their crop growing condition and detect diversions in time. For example, if the humidity has changed, they are immediately aware of that and they can take uh, corrective actions. They also use the historical data to uh, in the research uh, facilities to constantly improve the what they call their growing machine. So uh, data visibility or data is not only used in real time to basically monitor their control the uh, growing environment. They are also giving providing this uh, data to their uh, R and D or research and development to scientists, basically crop scientists, in order to improve the algorithm or the conditions to provide the best uh, output per uh, square meter, per square meter. Uh, with help of UniCloud, they actually triple the yield per square meter. So actually, data is working and control is working, but what they actually said, told me, that the, they found that a key element is being able to have this dashboard available, accessible for everyone, for people to take action based on the data. At the right, uh, at the right uh, time, they need to do that. Let's move to preventing maintenance. But first, before we move to preventing maintenance, let's uh, understand what is preventing maintenance. So preventing maintenance is defined as maintenance activity designed to identify problems before failure occurred. Okay, so it's kind of a proactive approach versus a reactive approach to issues that are reported. So today, probably most of us are used to be reactive to someone who's calling us and say, hey, I have this and that situation, but what if you can prevent getting into this kind of an SOS or a breaking point? Uh, and this is basically the whole idea behind it. To use uh, preventing maintenance, uh, there are two, uh, uh, preventing maintenance often use uh, basically condition maintenance, uh, condition based maintenance, what is called CBM, which basically enable your service department to service the machine when it's actually needed versus a scheduled maintenance. So, it's kind of a new way to speak with the machines. You're monitoring key components of the machine. For example, a belt with a sensor of vibration. And if you, are, uh, if you get alerted that the vibration is out of uh, calibration, uh, you can basically take care of this situation before, uh, before the situation is developing into a serious one which require to stop the machine and the production of the machine. So the idea over here is to prevent, to find, detect the problems before they become, they develop into a failure. I want to give you an example of preventing maintenance uh, from a customer of ours who is in the construction sectors and is manufacturing crashing machines for recycle purposes. You can, if you want, um, see the full story of this customer if you go to our website, uniclouds.cloud, uh, and you go to articles, 
and you go to Cam story, you found the full details, explanation of how Cams in Italy are using Unitronics and Unicloud uh, in their activity, which I will explain, including uh, a very nice movie at the end, how they use their dashboard. Moving back to our presentation, so again, this customer uh, uh, business model is to rent their machines. The machines are huge, but they actually rent them. Uh, so they need to make sure that their machines are properly maintained and they are always, always available for their customers. So to support this, they are using UniCloud to constantly monitor the machine condition such as the machine engine temperature, hydraulic pressures, and other key components which they uh, predefined. And to prevent their machines from being unavailable, connecting the machine to UniCloud enables them to constantly detect issues ahead of time. Ahead of time. This is the whole idea of preventing maintenance. And then prevent, preventing and perform those preventing actions. For that, they are using the uh, they are using CBM condition-based maintenance, or in other words, they are asking the machine to tell them what needs to be maintained and when. As they have a fleet of machines in different uh, geographies, different locations in Europe, uh, which they need to manage, they are using UniCloud as their central asset management platform. Like I showed you before, when I gave you a short demonstration on UniCloud, the first look, the first dashboard that I showed you is in a mode of asset management and not a specific, uh, a specific machine. And then basically you can get alerts, have an information of all your machine's uh, condition, regardless where, where it's located. Let's talk about how can UniCloud increase revenues and save costs. So one of the most desirable goals, goals of using machine data is increasing revenues and cost saving. Okay, usually when we speak with people, this is what they want. They want to expand their business, they want to save costs to be more, uh, to increase their ROI. So let's see how another customer of ours who is, in, who is building a wastewater processing machines is using Unit Cloud to achieve those goals. So this customer is recycling wastewater into usable water for industrial use. And in their business model, they lease, rent, or sell the system together with providing uh, professional services. They have identified that in today's market, their customer demands, not asking, demands to have online access to their water quality information. So this uh, kind of uh, accessibility for information is a prerequisite to, to, to be able to uh, meet customer demand and to sell their products. Using their machines data, they now can add a new revenue stream by providing premium services uh, for the customers and offer different SLA packages, service packages. For example, one SLA package would be 24 seven monitoring and, uh, and self-servicing. And another one would be, uh, you know, uh, with, responding, uh, with responding support team. And not respond and not monitor 24 hours a day. So as they are aware of the machine condition and performance at any time, because it's connected to the internet, connected to the cloud, they can now offer different, uh, or let's call it premium uh, services they couldn't uh, they couldn't um, uh, offer before. They can also use the machine data to identify when is the best time to offer their customers. Uh, spare parts and consumables to place to the consumables. In some cases, their customers are buying their consumables from someone else. If they are aware of the performance of the machine, if they are aware of the condition of the machine at any time, they know ahead of time when something needs to be 
replace and they can basically uh, they basically the cell department can basically trigger a sales action this customer also have different size of solutions so basically now that they have access to machine data they can expand their businesses and offer the services to new customers who couldn't offer to buy their machines before so before they were able only to sell the machine which costs a lot of money but what if a customer wants this machine to i don't know a limited time to a special project to a special event now they can as they monitor the data and they can log the data they can actually uh, charge the customer for this specific period of time that uh, that he was using the machine and those customers were not uh, they didn't have access to those customers beforehand let's see how unicloud can save money for an organization Sorry for that, we'll skip to the next one. So how can we save money to your organization? So the first item would be saving time. System will collect the information for you, will create a report to you. For example, if you have the fleet of machine and every day you are a service manager and every day you need to uh, see what's the status of your machines, you can basically log in in the morning to a dashboard. You see immediately who needs, uh, who has an alarm, who needs to be maintained, what's the situation, and so on. And actually, you don't need to log into the dashboard. You can actually send a report automatically, a scheduled report to yourself, including an image of your dashboard if you like images and not just uh, dealing with numbers and figures. As we spoke about, uh, as we spoke about uh, preventing maintenance, of course you can avoid unnecessary maintenance. Okay, so the difference between scheduled maintenance is that, and uh, preventing maintenance, is that with scheduled maintenance you go and do the maintenance regardless of the machine situation or condition, while in preventing maintenance you actually service the machine only when it's needed. In some organizations, they combine the two, the two methods, but if you can avoid unnecessary maintenance, you can, of course, avoid travel costs, parts, man hours, and so on. You can also reduce uh, on-site travel, okay, by using remote access. Okay, so we, after the corona, we are more used to work remotely, uh, so basically, a lot of activities can be done today uh, remotely, and if you have access to the machine information using the UniCloud, uh, using the analytic tool, you are, you are not forced to go on site in order to, to get and to uh, gather this uh, kind of information. Another way to reduce costs, which is uh, related to time consuming, is uh, you are now able to do a faster troubleshooting session. For example, if we have a look on this, uh, on this chart over here, we can see that the CO2 levels, for example, which is the green uh, area, are increasing above certain level, above 1000 uh, ppm, and, and, and it's correlated to increasing of the power uh, of the power level, so we see a correlation between, which is the blue line, so we see a correlation over here between uh, power increasing and then the CO2 increasing, so in, on, we do see over here also a pattern, not only uh, an individual event, and we do see it on the, on the scale of time, so if you have a troubleshooting session, you are now able to remotely look in, look at historical session, historical information, use the analytic, any analytic tools that are inside, and come into a conclusion what needs to be done much faster. And if you can shorten the trouble, your troubleshooting session, you save time, and saving time basically uh, is money. 
you can also save time by doing automatic reporting or automatic analytics. So compare what you do today without a cloud uh, platform. Only you go, you collect the data, you download it, you take it, you export it, and you place it in a third party application, another application. This process takes time. In some cases, you are depend on other people to provide you with this data. Uh, everything, everything done uh, over here is done uh, automatically uh, and inside one platform. You don't need to export and use any other third party uh, application. The last item that I want to cover today with regards to saving cost is the ability to have a longer machine lifespan. And this is related, basically, this is a result probably for giving a machine to be aware of the machine condition at any time and service the machine uh, when it's needed. So if, for example, you place a machine and the lifespan of a machine is for five years, and after five years, you know that you need to start thinking about replacing it. Uh, and if you, for example, lease the machine, and you can basically postpone the replacement of this machine, from five years to maybe a longer time because you give basically a customized a, a service or treatment to the machine and you gain uh, some longer lifespan to this machine. Any questions uh, until that point, until this point? I see some questions over here. I will refer them to at the end. It is our technical question. I will refer them uh, at the end of the session. Thank you, uh, Miguel, for the question. So what's next? So we have covered the benefit of UniCloud with regards to data visibility, preventing maintenance. How can we increase the revenues or the revenue stream? And what can we do in order to uh, to have some cost saving? And before I will share with you our upcoming webinars, I would like again, if I may, to take this opportunity and ask you uh, via a very short questionnaire on screen, if you like to hear more about uh, UniCloud. So again, as before, I will launch a question. So what's next? How can you basically experience with UniCloud yourself. So please log in to go on the internet to unitronics.cloud. On the left top corner, you have the start free. When you open an account, you have a three months full functionality uh, trial uh, with no, uh, no request for a credit card or something like that. So please register. After you log in to the account on the right uh, middle uh, side, you will have a quick help for those who want to uh, have a guide by step-by-step uh, -step guided. And if you want to connect, if you want to see how to connect your PLC to UniCloud, just choose how to connect PLC to UniCloud. And uh, the wizard will uh, take you step-by-step. -step. I'm actually going to show you this on screen, if I may. So uh, this is UniCloud. This is our demo. By the way, uh, this demo is a public demo. And again, I said before, if you want to have access to this demo to browse, to show your customer, uh, for example, the capabilities, just drop us a line and we'll uh, provide you with the user and password. And it's a read-only mode. You cannot uh, you know, damage or change anything. So this is what I meant with a quick help. So when you open it, you have the, what you call standard help when you can type your questions, but you also have the user uh, UniCloud guides. And for example, if you select the step-by-step -step how to connect PLC to UniCloud, uh, basically it will ask you uh, which platform do you want to, to connect. And if you choose, for example, Unistream, uh, it will, if you don't have UniLogic, it will uh, take you to the UniLogic uh, download application page. And it will ask you if you have a UniDronix project. By the way, this demo 
can be, is accessible to be downloaded uh, at each step. And if you do have your application, it will give you a movie, step-by-step -step movie, how to connect your Unistream to UniCloud. It's also available in a form of a PDF, step-by-step, -step, if it's more uh, convenient to you. Okay, and again, let me stop this uh, wizard. And again, this uh, uh, guided or step-to-step, step-by-step guide, you can use it again and again, for example, how to create a new user. And it will take you through uh, the operations, how to do it step-by-step. Uh, step. Okay, I'm going to stop it now. I'm not going to continue. Okay, let's talk about the upcoming webinars. Uh, so as I said, we started a new series of webinars. Uh, today is the first one. And the next one will be a more detailed one about some of the subject that we just uh, covered. Uh, the next one will be on the 7th, uh, 27th of April. It's going to be a more detailed one about preventing maintenance. The next one will be uh, May 4th. Uh, it's a very important one. It's about dashboard design consideration. Should I put everything on one dashboard? How should I divide, should I create different dashboards for different purposes? How can I, for example, uh, um, assign a different uh, default dashboard per, per uh, users? This is also possible. The following one uh, is going to be held on the May 17. It's about uh, Unistream C series, what we call Unistream uh, Cloud series. And the, the last one, which are currently is uh, scheduled, is at the end of May, 31 of May. It's about more detailed way how to save costs and increase the revenues of, uh, of, an, orga of an organization uh, using the UniCloud. And of course, we will use the information that you provided at the beginning of today's webinar on topics that you are interested to create more and more uh, sessions or webinars about uh, specific information you would like us to cover. So now uh, we reach to the point of, uh, we reach to the Q&A session. And um, I'm going to address two questions that we have over here. Um, let me just read it. Uh, so uh, Miguel is asking, he said that he's, um, he want to use Unitronic solution in a greenhouse, uh, what we said before, like indoor uh, agriculture, but when interest, uh, internet is down, PLC save tags and resubmit it uh, uh, before. So, so yes, the answer is yes. Uh, if you use, for example, a Unistream and from any reason the connection is down, the cellular is down or whatever, uh, Unistream can uh, save information uh, on uh, on a memory uh, chip uh, up to 32, if I'm not uh, mistaken, 32 gig. And when the connection will be established, this information will be sent to, to UniCloud. So you will not you lose uh, any information. I hope I answer uh, the questions. There is another question over here, one moment. So um, the name of the question, question, the asker over here is A, and uh, I would like to take this uh, question offline. It's uh, it's more technical. I'm more in the in the UniCloud part, but it's a bit more technical for me, and it's on the on the PLC side. So uh, I will make sure that you will have answer to this from a more professional people on the on the PLC side. So a colleague of mine is uh, over here as well uh, on the session. So uh, uh, the answer for A is that there is no need for a, for a router. Uh, Maria is asking if she said she logged in uh, 
uh, she was a bit too late um, to for the start of the session. So uh, Maria, there is no problem. Each one of you guys will get a recording of this session uh, in the next uh, few days. Another comment on uh, the questions of uh, A is that the only difference between the B model and the C model is only the license. So basically the PLC is the same. Any other questions about what we covered today? And again, we covered today why it's important to have uh, visibility of data and how visibility of data is contributed to uh, a more efficient way to uh, for your operation. We cover also some of the added values of um, preventing maintenance and using a CBM uh, strategy to support it. And we also cover several ways to uh, to save on cost. Any questions on those topics? So uh, the currently there are no uh, more questions. So uh, thank you very much for all of you that you spend the time and uh, I know the time your time is uh, vulnerable and I really appreciate your rotation. So uh, have a great uh, have a great day for and uh, have a happy Passover to whoever uh, whoever is going to celebrate this uh, this month. Thank you very much. Bye bye.